To the sun with me, so I can show you something you've never seen. And both you and Where are we, tour guide? We're in Greece, just that over there is Turkey, uh, the mainland area of Bodrum. Uh, we're just cruising down the Greek side of the, the territorial border between Ceramos and the mainland of Bodrum. And just for David, Nat's white bikini. Happy birthday by the way David. And this bit is by far the most stressful thing you ever do. We're coming up to Kos Mandraki which is potentially we're on lazy lines, potentially we're on anchor. He's just told us we don't have a reservation even though we paid for 10 days in advance. And then he says come in, but he doesn't know if we're on lazy lines or on anchor. So we can't prep for either, we're going to have to prep for the boat generally. And it's busy as. There are ferries coming and going, day trip boats, other sailing boats. It's a very busy port. So it's quite frustrating that we don't get a straight answer. Okay, enough waffle. Man up, princess. Go park the boats, what you're paid to do. I absolutely hate parking this boat in tight spaces. Blown Away has a long keel, great on anchor, fantastic when you're sailing because she surfs in a straight line. Parking astern, nightmare, absolute nightmare. With no bow thruster, 25 tons, made of steel, big stainless steel bowsprit, poking out the front, just dying to take someone's rig out. And a side wind. Now, I'm gonna try to go in stern first. If I can't, we'll bounce too. Okay. It is what it is. <laughs> Doesn't need to be, it's on the beam. Okay, now, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do a big spin. And in my head, all I'm doing is adding up the damage that I'm going to do to most of these boats around me if this goes wrong.
And that there is the gap that I have to get into, which is big enough to park the Queen Mary. But this is worse than the Queen Mary to park. The Queen Mary has bow thrusters, it has stern thrusters, it has twin engines, it has lots of things helping you park the boat. Blown Away has none of those. The wind is on the bow. I now have to get the stern to come around. I cannot afford the bow of the boat to fall off to starboard. If it does, it's going into these ground lines. And behind me are other ground lines I can't afford the propeller to go into. So the boat has to turn. And it's about this point that the marineros generally start to freak out. Turning the wheel on a long keel boat does absolutely nothing when you're going astern because there's no water flow over the rudder. So I have to use a head to make my turns, then stop the boat and come back again. That process takes time and that's generally where the marineros get frustrated and nervous. With the wind now on starboard bow, it will act as nature's bow thruster. It will push the front end of the boat to port, which is exactly what I want it to do. So now I can concentrate on reversing the boat into the space, safe in the knowledge that the bow will always go to port when we're in neutral. What you see at the moment is prop walk. The back of the boat is walking to port because of the direction of rotation of the propeller i.e. the back of the boat goes to port generally when we go astern and that's exactly what is happening now but the boat is in the space and all I need to do is straighten it up camera doesn't capture it, but uh, there's quite okay. an audience at the back of the boat by now, okay, waiting yeah, the for the crash. The trick now is to get the two stern lines ashore so the marinero can tie them off, but we also need to get the bow under control because the wind is coming from starboard it's going to push a nice shiny bow sprit into the nice shiny power boat that is downwind of us so we need to get this ground line on pretty quick before that happens okay, okay now I'll take the ground line, you get the stern lines on Once those lines are on, we can tighten them up and we can adjust the position of the boat. I'm not going to use the engine at this point because those lines in the water could potentially end up around my propeller, especially the ground line. Round about now, the marinero is breathing a sigh of relief. So why did we put ourselves through that agony? Well, family. Family that we haven't seen for nearly three years. A grandson that I've never met and a granddaughter who is now close to four years old. And that is the hidden price of being a full-time cruiser. And Nelson is actually Sam's dog. Sam hasn't seen Nelson since 2019 in Northern Italy. Some chicken on his face. He's sitting up chair, the captain's chair. He's sitting all in, isn't he? Who's <laughs> it? <laughs>
Where's that Nelson? Where's that Nelson? <laughs> Put him inside the wheel and turn the autopilot on. Spin him around. No. And this is why we wanted to be on ground lines, so that we could leave the boat unattended and spend time with friends and family without worrying about whether the boat was going to be dragged someplace by a gullet or a super yacht or a pirate boat. Speaking of pirate boats, wouldn't it be fun to take a trip on one of these? Like a little mini pirate. You gotta say yar. Give me a yar. Yar. It's not loud enough. Yar. Kaboom! Otherwise they're gonna get to the beach first. Kaboom! Where are you going? Kaboom! <laughs> I did it! Kaboom! You're not doing it bad enough, Brad, though. Again? Ready? Kaboom! Get him! Another day of our life sucks, so we've arrived here. I can't believe you got me on a Wally trolley. Oh. <laughs> best bit about the pirate boat is that I don't have to park it at the end of the day. And before you know it, 10 days are up and everybody's leaving. Fantastic to see the family again and Kos was a brilliant place to do it. Hopefully we see you all again soon. And for us, it's time to move on. And that is the hardest part of being in Liverpool, is saying goodbye to your family and moving on to another location. I have no idea when I will see them again. So with our sails set and a decent breeze behind us, we're off. Where we're going, we have absolutely no idea. And that's exactly how we like it.
takes me back to being a teenager. Not quite at the same level as Nat. No, they don't. I don't think they are. <laughs> they're pretty old, they're 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 no spring. Say that again. They said they don't feel like teenagers in that one. They look older than you are. Thanks a lot. Oh, just woken up. Where are we going? Uh, we're, we're currently heading back across, back towards Sam, Sam Kinney's Hotel. We would like to say thank you to all of our supporters. It really does make a difference. If you would like to support us on Ko-fi, you can either scan the QR code or find the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can support us on Patreon. Again, you can find the link for this in the description below. And none of these contributions are used in our lifestyle. They are simply used to create videos. And alternatively, as a completely free way to support our videos and to help us keep putting these videos out there, you can hit subscribe, you can hit the notification bell and give us a like.